Eastern in New York, and we are coming on the air at this hour with news of a school shooting in South Florida. This took place in Parkland, Florida. Over and over, it's become the iconic footage. Students running from a school with their hands up. Teachers are being seen as the last line of defense for students, and many schools require them to get special training now. It can be shockingly real. Since 1999, 226,000 students have experienced some form of gun violence in their schools. Intruder drills, evacuations, and lockdowns are an unfortunate part of the American high school experience. While lockdowns are among the most common classroom safety protocols, they can be loud, inefficient, and dangerous. Teachers often need to divide their attention between securing the classroom and focusing on students. Barricading and locking doors require teachers and students to be near the door, the most vulnerable part of the classroom. Young students and students with special needs may find the lockdown procedures especially difficult. Our focus is making lockdowns more efficient and safe for students and teachers. In trying to find a solution to unsafe and inefficient lockdowns, our team developed the CLAD, or the Classroom Lockdown Assistance Device. The CLAD automatically and remotely locks down a classroom in the event of an intruder or other threat. To ensure that we built the most effective device that we could, we talked with Officer Chris Dilworth. He is a Solanco School District Resource Officer. He's very knowledgeable about the ins and outs of school security and safety. We asked him many questions about a normal lockdown procedure among districts, such as the use of a security magnet in locking classroom doors. While working with Officer Dilworth, we learned a lot about how police use the STEM skills. For example, the use of technology, the use of critical thinking to solve problems, and analyzing patterns to continue improving methods of safety. Taking the problems with modern lockdown procedures and the advice given to us by Officer Dilworth into account, we came up with a few requirements for our solution. It needed to eliminate visibility into the classroom, lock the door, prevent the door from opening at all even if the lock fails, and keep everyone inside the classroom away from the doors. When we began brainstorming ways to meet these requirements we set, we initially thought about using a bulletproof Kevlar curtain that would hang down from the door. But having enough layers of Kevlar to make something bulletproof is very expensive, so we moved on. We then decided that the system would be remotely deployed, solving one of our requirements. From there, we came up with individual solutions to each of our requirements and found a way to combine them all into one system. With the assistance of my teammates, we were able to successfully design and make the CLAD as we know it today. In our initial prototype, we had a great difficulty attaching hinges, as well as finding a proper way to secure our curtain to the container. After trying to assemble our prototype, we decided that we needed to find a better way to contain our curtain, and a more effective hinge type. This led us to our second prototype, which is what we know as CLAD. The CLAD is the ability to remotely de be deployed at the press of a button with the help of actuators and a hinge. Additionally, there is a lashing strap to cinch the door closer, and a paracord string to pull the pr door propping magnet. Our final product is a system that can be mounted above the door of a classroom and contains three different lockdown protocols that can be deployed simultaneously at a moment's notice. The system reduces the time required to lock down a classroom to one second, while at the same time reducing the responsibilities of both student and teacher in what is almost always a confusing and stressful situation. Those performing the lockdown procedure need no longer be near the door for any part of the process, taking teachers out of harm's way during these, those crucial seconds. Our device would be especially useful in classrooms with younger students and those with special needs, for whom lockdown procedure can be especially difficult. The CLAD is an effective and practical solution to what is becoming an increasingly present issue in our society. I'm Jenna Brown, and I'm the lead researcher. I'm Gabby Dolan, and I'm the business liaison. I'm Jack Herschler, and I'm the lead design. I'm Tim Fetterman, I'm the lead engineer of the CLAD. I'm Patrick Hobson, I'm the product manager.